Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to go over my monthly favorites from the month of February. And it is a little late in the month. I wanted to have this up March 1st, but better late than never, I guess. So my first favorite, which might be a little obvious to some of you, is that I colored my hair. Well, actually, I bleached my hair. I got it done. I needed a little bit of a change, and I thought this would be nice for spring. So they... I should have done my hair for you guys. I'm sorry, it's just in a lazy braid today, but but that is something that changed this month and I have been liking it. Took a little bit of getting used to, I won't lie. I would look in the mirror and be like, who is that girl looking back at me? But um, I'm liking it, it's different. It's taking some time to get used to. It's good to have change sometimes, so I'm enjoying that. So I'll just stay on the topic of hair. Um, some of the hair care products have changed up a little bit because I have bleached hair. I want to kind of baby it and just, you know, nourish it. But I picked up some dry shampoo and this is by Not Your Mother's. It's called uh, Clean Freak. And it smells really good. It's pretty lightweight. It doesn't feel like it really weighs the hair down. And I don't know, it absorbs the oil and there's not a lot of residue after I, I do it. Um, if you're brunette, you're going to have a little bit of that cast. and you just, It will go away if you rub it out or, you know, just let it dry. It will eventually fade. But I just wanted to mention that if you are a brunette, just expect it. If you're blonde or you have highlights, you know how hard, especially if you're a brunette that wants to put highlights in, you know how hair can tend to be brassy. So I picked up, I've tried a lot of purple shampoos in my day, but my favorite is this one by Clairol Professional. I got this one at Sally's and it's their Shimmer Light Shampoo. It's for blonde and silver hair and it's just a color enhancing color enhancing shampoo that brightens and refreshes your blonde, highlighted, or silver hair. And it's basically just to help not be brassy or too yellow toned. Just uh, kind of acts as a toner almost. And it is conditioning for being a shampoo. So I really like this. If you're blonde, silver, highlighted, check it out. It's really affordable. It's under 10 bucks. I want to say it's probably around six to eight dollar price range and I got it at Sally's I've seen it on online like on eBay Amazon so you can purchase this wherever you're at you can get it again it's the Clairol professional it's my favorite one and it makes my hair feel silky some of them have actually made my hair feel dry but this brand for some reason makes my hair feel silky so Okay, so the next hair care product is actually, it's not a specific product, it's more of a, uh, it's more of a beauty hack, and I believe, I can't remember which video it was, but it was by Laura Lee here on YouTube. If you don't know who she is, look her up, she is a sweetheart, she's hilarious, I love her, she's beautiful, she, so go check out her channel, I think it was one of her beauty hacks video, if I can find out which video it was, I'll link it down below. But one of the th beauty hacks that she suggested I tried and I absolutely love and it's just taking an empty spray container and all you do is fill it part way with a conditioner and then the rest with water. So it dilutes the conditioner but it's a leave-in conditioner and it just helps detangle your hair, make it feel softer and silkier and I do it. After I get out of the shower I'll spritz my hair with this and then I'll brush it out and do whatever else I gotta do. It's definitely like helps detangle my hair too so why buy leave-in conditioner when you can make it yourself I feel so wanted to mention that hack it's really good. If you guys try this hack let me know and let me know how it worked for you but um, I think it's a great hack and it's easy. You already have conditioner and just find an empty bottle and Fill some water in there and then there you go. You have a free leave-in conditioner and you're saving your hair. So I have to mention this facial moisturizer by Benefit and it's just their total moisturizer. And this is what the jar looks like. Just a cute little jar. Um, this is the most moisturizing lotion face cream that I have ever had. I don't know if you can tell how th it's really thick. Like I can go like this and nothing's gonna fall out. Like it's that thick of a moisturizer. And it's great 
for these winter months when my face is really dry. I want to pick up the full size version. I just love this. This is um, just called to Toya. <laughs> this is just called their Total Moisturizer Facial Cream. So for the past few months I actually have been trying out a tinted moisturizer and this one is by Flower Cosmetics. <laughs> I still have the clearance sticker on there. Um, I love the packaging. The packaging is really cute and this when I first used it I thought I was going to hate it because it looked like it was just a regular kind of moisturizer like it didn't have any coverage which I don't expect a tinted moisturizer to have much coverage. But this one looked like it wasn't going to have any at all. So I was a little discouraged by it. And I was like, oh, whatever. And then I came back about 10 minutes later. And I could notice that this had actually covered some of my red, like my rosy cheeks. You know, a few blemishes. Didn't cover the blemishes completely. But it masked them pretty well for being a tinted moisturizer. Um... It feels really tacky for about five seconds and after that it soaks in the skin and it looks really nice on the skin and it just makes your skin look healthier and just a better version of what it is. So it's really natural obviously because it's a tinted, tinted moisturizer but I have been loving this especially for just days that I'm not doing much and just running errands. Well, let's talk about bronzers. <laughs> um, I have been loving, loving, loving this bronzer. This is by Tarte. This is their Park Ave Princess Contour Palette. And if they don't have this anymore, it's it's okay. Don't worry. <laughs> because they still sell this bronzer separately. I've had this bronzer before. It's in Park Ave Princess. And it's just a complete matte bronzer. Right. That is the bronzer and it's just been a really pretty bronzer for the winter months since I'm paler now. So I really have been reaching for this a lot the past two months, past few months actually. But I really love that. Again that's by Tarte. It's their Park Ave Princess. Love this packaging. Isn't it pretty? So that was more, that's more of a high end option. Drugstore. I adore this one by Maybelline. This is Maybelline's um, master contour palette. You get a highlighter, a blush, and um, this is more of a bronzer. Love, love, love this one. I have it in medium deep. Love it, love it, love it. I don't use the highlighter that much just because it looks a little funky on my skin. I need to be a little bit more tanner for me to pull it off, but this blush and the con uh, contour bronzer shade, I use almost on a daily basis. I love it. So, and I have a review on it. I'll link it down below in case you guys are interested. I also have a review on this too, and I'll link that down below. Um, this is Rimmel London's Contour Palette, and this one I'm not as much of a fan. This contour shade is a little bit chalky. Highlight shade doesn't really show up on me, but the blush, however, is gorgeous. It's a gorgeous golden peachy coral color if that makes sense it is beautiful so I picked up this Milani eyeshadow primer eyeshadow did I say eyeshadow that's horrible so I picked up this Milani eyeshadow primer that's what it looks like and I love this it's very comparable to the eyeshadow potion primer by Urban Decay it's what it reminds me of but it's like a quarter of the price I think this was only like four or five bucks and the Urban Decay one I think is around 20 21 somewhere in there I could be wrong I'm just going on the top of my head but this is very similar and it works just as well it comes out like a nude color like a flesh tone I'll show you see that and it just works so well. It helps your eyeshadows go on smoother and blend better and it helps them last longer too. So love that. It's been a favorite this past month. Another favorite is this Bye Bye Under Eye by It Cosmetics. I received this in my Ipsy bag and this works really well. I've got neutral medium and it really masks those dark under eyes 
A little bit of this goes a very, very long way, very pigmented, and you just got to be kind of careful that you don't use too much. But it is full coverage. It's anti-aging, waterproof. So that's pretty cool. It has vitamin C and K in it. I did not know it was anti-aging. I don't know about that. I haven't used it long enough to know. But I really do love this. So that has been a favorite. This was mentioned by Candy Johnson. And this might have been in my last favorites video too. I don't know. I love this stuff. It's by Treat Beauty. All organic, natural. This is their confetti cake lip balm. And it is ginormous, guys. Look how much bigger that is. Like, smells great and it's got like coconut oil, shea butter, beeswax. Really healthy, really good for the lips. And I just love it. And I picked up this from the dollar store. It's the Lux Lip Smacker in Pink Velvet Gelato. And it kind of reminds me of um, NARS's Turkish Delight. Turkish Delight by NARS and this is that one. This one's a little bit more of a cooler toned. It smells so good. It smells like vanilla. The NARS one does not smell very good at all. This one is the NARS one and this one is the Lip Smacker one. They're not identical. They're not a dupe, but they're close. Close enough that if you were wanting Turkish Delight, you could get this um, and kind of get a similar effect. The NARS one is a little bit more on the peachier side and this one's more of a baby pink blush that I have been loving and I need to put it in a Z palette just so I don't lose it. I'm afraid I'm going to lose it. It's by Pandora's Face. It's Pink Carnation and that is the color. Just a beautiful um, rose pink color. Really pigmented for a blush. So I made a video. Um, it's a DIY for the color switch and that's what this is what it looks like. It's in this little jar. You open it up has this little sponge and basically the idea of this is when you're doing your eyeshadow you put on an eyeshadow you can just take your brush and swirl it around and it cleans it and you can use the same brush for different colors you don't have to keep switching brushes or if you don't have a lot of brushes this is a good alternative or just a fast alternative if you're in a hurry and you just want to hurry up and use same brush and go back forth you know so this I have been loving and I actually have been using it quite a bit um, I just like having that option so that will be posted down below in case you guys are curious it only takes a few dollars to make um, the color switch I think runs around 25 bucks so you are gonna save yourself some money um, if you're interested the link will be down below I'm just going to share with you some brushes that I've been loving. I noticed Wet n Wild has had some brushes out. Um, I don't know if they're brand new. I've seen them for a few months at the store here and I finally picked them up. Picked this one up. It's just a flat top. It works really well for foundation. I've been liking that one. And then this one is more of like a flat um, buffing brush. I like to put it in my crease, use it for my crease colors and then buff it out, so like turn it sideways and buff it out. So I've been loving that. And these are really cheap. I think they're only $1.99. And I've been loving these brushes. This one is the Pro Blending Fluffy Brush by Crown Brush. And it's kind of like the same shape as the Wet n Wild. They're kind of flat but fluffy. This one is the Oval Foundation Brush by Crown Brush. And I actually love this for my foundation. It works really well. Not typically a fan of this shape of a foundation brush. I usually like like the flat tops, but I do like this. It works really well. Another old favorite is by Morphe. It's the 441 Blending Brush. I use this all the time. It is probably my most used brush. I love it. Morphe M441. So I really dread cleaning my brushes because it takes forever. Um, so I picked up this one. It's by Cinema Secrets. It's their quick drying rinse free formula. That's what it looks like. This may have been a favorite in the past month, but I love this stuff. It is strong smelling, so make sure you're in a well vented area. But it cleans very quickly and it, your brushes dry extremely fast. So it's a, it makes the process really quick. Love this stuff. I, as you can tell, I'm running out, so I need to get more, but I love it. I love this cleansing water by Garnier. It's their Skin Active Cleansing Water. 
and it cleans your makeup off and wipes it so gently and you know you don't even have to rinse your face after this it says so on the back I still do just because I don't know but there's times that I don't and my face doesn't burn or my eyes don't sting so I love this it does a beautiful gentle job at removing your makeup and I just can't say enough about it I really do like this and it's very affordable I think this was like five to six dollars so and it lasts quite a bit. So, well, since I have my nails done, um, you know, I am constantly washing my hands because I just do not like anything to be underneath my fingernails that drives me nuts. So, I picked up this brush and I got this from the local dollar store. And I think it came with like two of them. I have one in my kitchen and one in my bathroom. So, I love this. It just gets under there and cleans underneath your nails really well and make sure that there's no like guck or dirt or anything so that is another beauty favorite i just wanted to put out there and this is kind of a beauty favorite kind of not um this has to do with beauty rest and if you're anything like me i wake up as soon as i start seeing light come through my bedroom window it wakes me up and it's hard to fall back to sleep i don't know why it's just something about the sun wakes me up so I got a little beauty mask and I do have cur like the darkening room curtains but sun still comes in so I really love this um, it just really blacks everything out and makes it really dark and I don't get distracted I don't know my sleeping is a lot better when I use this so that has been a favorite and I wanted to mention it to you guys if you're having trouble sleeping and you get woken up easily try one of these so I don't know it might help <laughs> okay so a couple TV show favorites from this month I've been loving Jane the Virgin been really getting into that I love Jane the Virgin it's really cute and um, Fuller House it's actually on Netflix I watched all of them in like three days <laughs> I think it was like three days it was less than a week I watched all of them it's actually pretty cute and um, a little cheesy some parts were pretty cheesy but I still thought it was cute because I loved Fuller House growing up and um, I just thought it was really cute somebody shared a thing on Facebook about home improvement doing one on Netflix I'm not sure if that's true I need to look that up because if it is that would be cute it'd be fun if they did like a family matters one with Urkel or something but um yeah I've been loving the Fuller House one and I don't know I think there's supposed to be another season I think it's really cute um I liked that Jane the Virgin those have been my top two this past month I'm still trying to get caught up on my Supernatural funny story I went to my pharmacist to get a prescription at the pharmacy and the pharmacist <laughs> I didn't realize it but I was wearing my um supernatural t-shirt it's actually the always keep fighting campaign that Jared Padalecki does and I was wearing that t-shirt and she was like okay here's your, your stuff and then she's like so what season are you on? Are y'all cut up? And I looked over at her and I, it kind of took me a second because I forgot I had the shirt on and I was like, oh, I was like, oh, I still got a few more seasons to go. And I'm like on season eight and she's like, me too. And she's like, what season are they on? I'm like, season 11, I think. And um, she was just like, she knew the always keep fighting t-shirt. She recognized it. She's like, I go, it's so cool to meet another Supernatural fan. It's so cool. And she's like, oh, wait till you see the other pharmacist, Jared. When he comes in, he won't, he'll talk your leg off. I was like, his name's Jared, really? And she started laughing. I was laughing, but I thought it was funny. So, um, yeah, that happened. Um, some music favorites. So oh, I <laughs> recently discovered this um, country musician. I'm very late on the bandwagon. I realized that. I was on my Facebook telling people, oh my gosh, have you heard of this guy? And I was like, yeah, Brooke, where have you been? <laughs> apparently I've been living under a rock. I do live in the Rockies, but apparently I've been living under a rock because I haven't heard of this guy or his songs, but he's amazing. 
Anyways, his name is Chris Stapleton. And he is just like the epitome of what country music used to be and what it should be today. Like, he is just, he's got an amazing voice. It's so cool. He kind of reminds me a little bit, his voice style is kind of like Travis Tritt a little bit. I grew up, my dad listened to a lot of Travis Tritt and Garth Brooks, but <laughs> um, I really like it. I'm going to play a little song. Hopefully I can play it without YouTube and copyrights. Um, if I can't, I'm sorry. So. Brought to you by this advertisement on YouTube. I've been loving a lot of his songs. That one, Tennessee, Tennessee, <laughs> Tennessee Whiskey, I love. Um, another one is You and the Whiskey. Another one is Whiskey and You. I want to get his CD. It's so good. And this is not a beauty favorite either, but it has been a favorite. And I thought they stopped making these. Um, okay, first of all, I'll just show you what it is. You guys are, don't judge me. I'm like a big kid in an adult body. <laughs> um, this is the Scented Markers. I think it's by Mrs. Sketch. I don't know. These are the Scented Markers. And like on the back, it shows you all the smells. I remember growing up, like in second grade, a lot of, <laughs> I was like the weird kid that would just sit there and sniff the markers. Like, I loved smelling the markers. I think it was raspberry and watermelon and one of the blues were my favorite to smell. Like, I just loved the smell. And I thought they stopped making these. And I was in the store a couple weeks ago and I seen them and I was like, oh, I really want those, but I don't have a kid and I can't justify buying it. And I came home later that night and I seen on the news, they were talking about people who suffer from anxiety. And um, this isn't something I like to talk about, but I think I may have mentioned here before that I do have anxiety issues. And they were talking about on the news about how um, coloring books or drawing, sketching, that kind of stuff can actually help people with their anxiety. So what I thought, when I heard, so when I heard that, I was like, okay, I can justify me buying those markers now. So I did get the markers, and I love them. The smell takes me back to second grade. And it is really therapeutic to be coloring a coloring book for some reason. And since then, I actually have started painting. And that has been a favorite this month. And I, oh, I don't want to cry about it because, um... I haven't painted in like a decade and I stopped painting. I just went through a nasty divorce and it just really depressed me and I just stopped painting. I went through like a bad breakup. I was really depressed and I just gave up the hobby and I don't know why I gave it up. I don't know why. Like, I don't know. I just stopped doing it. And 10 years and since I've been coloring it's inspired me to pick up painting again and I forgot how much I loved to paint. So that has been a huge favorite this month and I'm picking the hobby back up and it's really actually filling me with joy. It makes me happy to paint and um, I just wish I wouldn't have stepped away from it when I did. But who knows why we do the things we do. Um, <laughs> But uh, if any of you, like this is off subject, but if any of you have like anxiety issues or any like depression issues, I find personally for me, um, any sort of like creating, and it can be your version of creating, it doesn't have to be painting or doing coloring books. Um, it could be something like, in, you know, designing your house, decorating your house, um, your cars, anything is cr like, organizing that's a you know creating a organized closet um i don't know <laughs> i'm trying to think sewing anything that makes you start thinking about being creative i think it helps with anxiety I, personally for me um and i think with depression i have some very close family members that suffer um from depression so with them, they say the same thing. 
that when they're creating something, it's like making different parts of their brain. It's like making them use different parts of their brain and it helps them when they're depressed. So I just want to encourage you, if you do suffer and battle from depression or anxiety, try doing something creative. Give yourself a little project and see how it helps you. I know it helps me a lot. To be vulnerable admitting this, I don't like to admit that I suffer from anxiety. Um, mine is a lot of situational anxiety. I developed from my car accident and it's just like been a big, I've never had anxiety, I never struggled with anxiety until after my car accident and I had some um, family issues that made my anxiety worse. Um, so really getting into a hobby and doing projects really helps and if you're um, religious or have faith diving into your faith really helps too um for me it's a huge strength like god is my strength and i couldn't make it without him and he helps me a lot with my anxiety and you know just because i'm a christian doesn't mean i'm not gonna have anxiety and it's not doesn't mean that i have to be perfect and it doesn't mean that i don't have a battle every day and i don't i battle with it every day and you know if just because I'm a Christian doesn't mean I have to be perfect. And God helps me every day with my anxiety. And between Him and my projects, they both seem to help. So I just wanted to put that out there for you guys. I know this is a subject some people don't like to hear or like to talk about. And some people don't like to admit that they struggle with it. And the only reason I'm admitting it right now is something that I'm really scared to talk about. But the only reason I'm admitting it right now is because if those things help me, that if I share it and you guys might try it, and if it helps you, then it's worth me being embarrassed. So that's that. I don't know why I went off on that little tangent, but maybe one of you needed to hear it. So last favorite, and this will lighten the mood. <laughs> And this has been a favorite in other uh, videos past, is my goldfish crackers. I love these guys. These guys are so good. And um, they're totally like calorie free. Um, yeah, there's no calories, there's no cholesterol, there's no sodium, there's no sugars. There's just a lot of healthy things in here. I hope you guys are getting me and know that I'm being sarcastic. <laughs> it's really not that bad of a snack. Um, there is protein in it. So 55 pieces is 3 grams of protein, guys. So that is wonderful. Don't you agree? I love this stuff. Um, so this is always a favorite in my household every month favorite in my tummy every month <laughs> so I just want to mention that too just to let you guys know actually I wasn't going to mention it it was just sitting here because I needed a quick snack before I started filming and I just happened to see it there and figured I probably should mention it as a favorite so anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you guys are doing well and if you have any ideas for any videos someone suggested that I do some celebrity transformations if that's something you guys would like to see let me know and give me some ideas of what you would like me to do and i would love to do them for you guys um as always thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next video take care and god bless bye Mwah.